Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm Alisa and today I am making a frozen lemonade pie. Before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Let's get started with this frozen lemonade pie. All right, y'all, let's make the crust for this frozen lemonade pie. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use a graham cracker crust. I'm going to use those Biscoff cookies, you know, the airplane cookies. So I have a whole package of those cookies you know, these guys right here. And I just crushed them up in the food processor or whatever you have on hand. I have a ninja right here, so I've crushed them up in there. And then I'm going to add a half a stick of melted butter. And since this is a frozen pie, this doesn't this part doesn't need to be frozen. Not frozen, it doesn't need to be cooked, rather. So I'm just gonna mix it together and put it in a nine inch pie pan and stick it in the refrigerator until it sets. So let's get all this mixed in. And then after we get it all mixed together, just gonna dump it in the pan and let it refrigerate until it set. All right, so we have the crumbs all mixed together with the butter. You see it look very well mixed, like it's been evenly coated with the melted butter. So we're just gonna pour it down into this nine inch pie pan. You can use it all a little bit. Depends on how thick you want the crust. So I'm just gonna pack it down with a measuring cut, make sure it gets in there good. And if it's too thick, I may scoop some of this out. And by that point, I might have enough to make a second one. All right, just gonna keep packing it down. All right, that looks pretty good. Got it all packed down in there really well. All right, so from this point, I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator till it sets, and then Make the pie filling while it's in the refrigerator. That looks so good. All right, y'all. So the crust is in the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and make the filling. So what I'm going to start with is a half a block of cream cheese or four ounces. This has been brought to room temperature. So I'm going to add that to the bowl and then this is one can of sweetened condensed milk, whichever brand you prefer. I'm gonna add that. Look, let's help it out. All right, got the sweetened condensed milk in the bowl. I'm getting it all. All right, and to that, one can of frozen lemonade concentrate. It can be partially frozen. I think mine is probably thawed out all the way. It's all right. It's going to be frozen anyway. So you're going to add all of that. And once you get all that added in, we're just going to mix this together with a hand mixer, not a stand mixer today. So I'm gonna get all this mixed in. All right, y'all, I'm mixing it all up still. And you see how um, thick and chunky it's looking? Hopefully that will be the consistency until it's all mixed together and smooth and creamy. So I'm gonna keep on mixing. All right, that looks... That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add some uh, some lemon zest. This is from a lemon. This thing, I found the biggest lemon they had in the grocery store. They had a whole bunch of big ones. So I'm just gonna add all this lemon zest to it. You can mix that with the, with the mix if you want, but it's just lemon zest, so I figured why do all that. All right, and then one container, this is the eight ounce tub of thawed whipped cream. Now with this, you can actually mix it with the mixer real slow or you can fold it in. No, we just fold it in. Fold it in. Y'all look, in. my sister's here today. Say hey, sissy. Hello. How are we? Hello. Hi. How are you? 
So let me move this mixer out the way. So that way we can just fold it in. So when you're folding, you just kind of cut down the middle and drag from the bottom. Cut, drag over. Cut through, drag over. Cut through, drag over. Stir a little bit. Repeat. Cut through, drag over. Stir a little bit. It just keeps it thick and creamy. Because sometimes if you try to stir the whole thing by hand, it deflates. We don't want it to deflate. So I'm just going to keep folding and folding. And folding. All right, y'all. I got all of the cream, cream cheese, the whipped topping <laughs> all folded in. And here's the, the crust. Remember, this is the, um, those Biscoff cookies, the airplane cookies. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, and that's just mixed in with some butter, and I just refrigerated till it was set. So I let it sit in the refrigerator a couple hours, actually. So let's pour this filling in there. Karen, I'm ready for the pie, because my stomach started growing. Oh, goodness. And look at that. And there's still some left. So y'all look. I still have a little bit of filling left. It's called a parfait. I'm going to make a parfait with what's left of the, the crumbs and with what's left of the filling. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. No, not the refrigerator. The freezer, you guys. The freezer. So this has to freeze overnight or minimum eight hours because it is a frozen pie. So freeze it for eight hours, and then once it's nice and frozen and you're ready to serve, you can serve it frozen or let it soften up a little bit out of the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the freezer, let it freeze for about eight hours. I'll be back later on, if not tomorrow, for you guys. Well, for me, rather. And let's we'll see how it turns out after eight hours. All right, y'all. It's the next day. The pie is out of the freezer. It is nice and frozen. You see how cold the, the handles are? And because I like to make things look pretty when I make some type of dessert, I have my piping tip. And look, I can't ever remember to buy piping bags from the store. So this is a sandwich bag. We're going to hope it do what it's supposed to do. So let's go ahead and try to make a little border with some whipping cream. This is just extra whipping cream I had left over. So let's see what we can make it do. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. All right, you guys, I'm going to keep going. All right, y'all, I have the pie all decorated. And I have a knife. I heat it up a little bit with some warm water or hot water, whichever one you prefer. So that way to cut, try to cut through a little bit easier. So let's cut into this frozen lemonade pie. This is a pretty sharp knife, so I have to be careful I don't cut myself because I have done it before. Alrighty. Oh, I'm hitting the plate. No wonder. Move that out of the way. Let's cross our fingers that it comes out all right. Well, if I need to cut through it some more. I think I need to cut through it some more, you guys. Hold on a second. All right, so I'll try to cut through a little bit more. So let's try this again to see or maybe the slice is just too small. See what we can get. Really thick, still creamy. Can you see the inside of that? I was probably trying to cut it too small. Probably should have made it a bigger slice in order to get it to come out a little bit easier. But nevertheless, Let's try her out. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
it's so limited and refreshing. Good for a hot day. Barbecue when you don't want to turn the oven on. If you like lemon meringue pie, it's just like that. But kind of like a lemon meringue pie ice cream. It's so good, y'all. My goodness. Yep, definitely need to make this again. My mouth is watering, y'all. So I'm going to finish this up. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.